feels so wintry today, like I love the vibes. I really want to show you guys to get your input. Hey guys, so before we get into this vlog, I just wanted to address the comment section of my last vlog because I thought that I would just do it like video form because I'd rather do this than like type something out. So the girl in the video that some people did not know and I don't expect you to know because you're probably a new viewer if you didn't know, um, that's my sister. Her name is Madison, one of my sisters. And I promise you, she's literally the sweetest person um, and means no harm, I promise. She just like, that's, I don't know how to say it, but like that's literally like the way that she comes off is that's just like her personality and she likes to dramatize it a lot. So I don't know really how to know how to explain it. Like you would need to know her to like really know what I'm saying, but she does that like almost on purpose. It's nothing like actually like, it's not a jab to me. Like when I hit 10,000 subscribers, she literally like bought me balloons. Like she bought me cake. It's more like as a joke, like she thinks it's funny. So I totally understand though where you guys were coming from and how you were saying that it didn't look good because like if I didn't know her and I was watching someone else's vlog, I would think the exact same thing just because of the way that she came across. So thank you guys for looking out for me. Like I honestly really appreciate it. But just to clear things up, she... <laughs> Dude, are you listening to that? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> are you kidding me? Of course I'm hearing what you're saying. Do you want to clear the air for yourself? I don't know what there's to clear. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, sometimes I'm just in a bad mood and it just happens to be 75% of the time. I'm not mean. <laughs> say yeah she's literally in a bad mood and she likes to reflect it when i put on the camera and she's just she's just like that like she's sassy I'm and not mean no she's not mean she's just sassy and i could see how they could come across as being mean like a hundred percent if i didn't know her i would probably think the same thing but i promise you that's not the case but thank you for standing up for me in the comments i love you guys and thanks to that one person who <laughs> was counting standing up for anyways me. i hope that clears the air love you guys let's get on to the video so it's currently like 10 o'clock and me and madison are going on a little mini road trip to downtown it's like probably i'd say about like this address specifically now we're at 15 minutes so it's very far um but i have to go down there today like i kind of have no other choice because i left my like some of my things when I was filming for this movie and they still have them there and they're wrapping today which means that um, if I don't get it today then I'm never gonna get it back so I have to go all the way to Vancouver to pick it up which really sucks but you know it is what it is but anyway so we're just gonna go um, and leave now we're gonna pick up Starbucks first just because why not it would be nice to be caffeinated for the road it's also gonna apparently snow this week next week um, I don't know like how much when. I think it might be Sunday. I love getting snow around Christmas time. I just think it's like the best thing ever. So I really hope we get snow. Okay, anyways, let's go. Okay, just got out of Starbucks. Um, we both got a chestnut praline latte with oat milk. This is like my go-to Christmas drink. I used to order the gingerbread latte every single time that I came. But they don't even have the gingerbread latte anymore. They discontinued it, I think. I don't know if it's just for this year or like forever, but they don't have it anymore. So I was so sad when I found that out, but like it's fine because the chestnut praline is just as good, honestly, and I really like it. So it feels so wintry today. Like I love the vibes. I didn't. Ew, that guy just like made eye contact with me as I was sipping my drink. It that was really, really weird. awkward. Okay, I bought the Christmas reusable cup. I think that I love the blue. I love the little candy cane. It's so Christmassy because whenever I like go out like if i'm going on a walk or whatever it is like i want to take my coffee to go but we have like maybe two of these at home but they always get lost like the lids either lost or they're dirty or something's always like happening and i can never like find one it was only like three dollars so why not um yeah i just have to put this in here this is so cute this is like my little christmas to go but no okay ready to go So 
I picked up my stuff. It's in the back. I got everything that I needed to get. And now I'm just stopped at, um, oh my god, it's 111. Dude, it's literally 111. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I literally um, filmed the GPS because it was like, oh, you're going to arrive um, home at 111. And I'm not even home. Like, I'm at Walmart and it's 111. Like, that is freaking crazy. I've been seeing 111 so often lately. Let me know, like, if you guys ever see angel numbers and if you do, which ones do you see? Because I've been seeing, like, 111 really um, frequently. Anyways, I have a lot of things that I need to get. I just have, like, little, like, deodorant. I need to get another cleanser. Just, like, really random stuff. So, yeah, we're gonna go into Walmart. I literally had to drop Madison off at the door because she had to pee so bad. Um,. But yeah, I'm so happy. Like, it's a beautiful day today, and I think it's gonna be the last sunny day for a while. But like, I'm just like soaking it in. It's freezing, but it's sunny, and I feel like that's like one of the best weather types in the winter. Like, it just feels so like warm and cozy inside, you know? If it was snowing, that would just be so nice. Just, I just really hope we get snow. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go in. Madison just texted me, I think she's done peeing. Um, okay, let's go in and do some shopping for random little things. Okay, so I usually use the CeraVe like this one, but it's not like, it's just like a regular clean cleanser, but they made like a foam version where it like foams up. So I think I'm gonna try this one this time because I ran out of this one. So I think it's exact same thing, but this one's just foamy. This was like new a few months ago, but once I bought like the big tub of that one, this one just came out. So this one like lasted me a long time. So yeah, I guess we'll try it. Oh my God, the sun is like making the lighting so shit. Okay, I'm just gonna go like that. So we got some kombucha. This is like my favorite kombucha brand of all time. I've tried like a few different kombucha brands, but I always come back to this one. The Mystic Mango, the ginger one's also good. Honestly, they're all good from this company. I feel like they have like the most authentic like kombucha taste out of all the kombuchas I've ever tasted. They're just like the strongest and I love that about them. So, don't explode. Mm. Kombucha literally always hits the spot, like never freaking fails. Okay, home we go. We've been out for way too long and Madison has to go to work today, but we're gonna try to cook a nice lunch before she goes. Okay, so we just got home and we're gonna cook up some pasta for lunch. I've been doing this so often where like I literally intermittent fast by accident, like I don't actually mean to. It's supposed to be good actually though to intermittent fast, like eating between certain hours of the day. It's um, supposed to be good for your digestion. Obviously I'm not even doing this on purpose, but um, now my body has kind of become adjusted to it. Like I'm not even hungry in the morning anymore. I just like don't eat in the morning or I'm like going out so I just don't bring food with me. I'm very hungry, we're very hungry so we're cooking up some pasta. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a haul that I got from Walmart because I bought a couple of like self-care things that I'm gonna show you guys and just random things that I wanna show you guys because it's all fun you all. Okay, so like you guys saw, I showed. I got the CeraVe foaming cleanser. I'm gonna try this tonight and let you guys know how it is in comparison to just like the regular cream one. CeraVe overall is just a really good face cleanser. It's really gentle, so if you have sensitive skin, it's perfect. Um, it's literally the most gentle face cleanser in the world. So it's great. Next thing that I got is a deodorant. Just because I don't like to wear like natural deodorant on the days that I'm doing like physical exercise. Because then I really sweat and the natural deodorant doesn't do a good enough job if you know what I mean. So I just got like a Dove one. It's a 0% aluminum and it's just like a coconut scent. So the one that I use, if you guys are curious, on like a day-to-day -day basis is this one from Bloom. They actually sent it to me a while ago and I just started using it and I actually really like it. Um, it's all natural ingredients so it's good for you so that's why I use it on a day-to-day -day basis. On the topic of sweat, I got Aveeno baby wipes and okay, this sounds like weird but I heard Emma Chamberlain in one of her videos or podcasts was it? I don't know but she said that she uses um, like wipes to cleanse your underarms so for example sometimes i'll like shower and then i'll like vacuum or do something and then i'm like damn like my pits are starting to smell again like i'm getting a little sweaty but i don't want to like re-shower because that's just like unnecessary so in those types of situations if you just want a bit of a refresh without having to shower um you can just use like a baby wipe to cleanse you know your armpits just doing it with water doesn't really do the trick you need some kind of like soap or something so i'm gonna try the i mean i've never tried them before i just got them because they looked cute 
cute and they wear vinos. I feel like these will really come in handy. So the next thing I got is this e.l.f. brush and it is for applying like it's a buffing foundation brush. And this is actually part of their cool, cruelty-free and vegan line. I really wanted to get a brush for my cream contour because when I'm buffing in like my face products, I don't like to use the same brush to do my darker contour because I just... I don't know, I just don't want to like mix the brushes up. So yeah, just like a buffing brush. Product says 84039. So I think that's a product number if you guys want to look it up. And the last thing that I got is just this bubble bath from Dr. Teal's. And it has vitamin C in it. It's made with like essential oils, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I really like it. And it has somewhat like natural ingredients since it's made with essential oils. So yeah. And that is all I got. But yeah, when I cleanse my face tonight, I'll update you on... The cleanser. I feel like it's just gonna be like the exact same, but just like foamy version. But I'm excited to see how like the foam comes out. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so if you guys watched my last vlog, you would know that I bought this shirt from Maritzia um, because I wanted to wear it for Christmas. And then I told you guys that I was hoping to pair it with these leather pants that I had bought but never worn before and make it like my Christmas outfit. So I'm just like trying it on right now and I really want to show you guys to get your input because this is like, you know, going to be my little Christmas outfit. Um, but yeah, so this is the shirt and the pants together and I don't know if I like them together. I mean, I think it's cute. Like I think it's a moment and I like I'm obsessed with the shirt and I really love the pants individually, but I don't know if I like them together. Like I can't decide. So I need your guys' help. The thing is, I think that's throwing me off the most is that these pants have like a V. So I'm like, should I buy like a, a cropped moment instead? You know what I mean? Kind of so it shows off the little V in the pants. I see. I feel like this looks better already. So I feel like that's my issue with this shirt is that it's not like cropped. It's just a shirt. So yeah, I'm kind of stuck on what to do because I feel like a crop shirt would look a lot better with these pants because, you know, it shows off the little V here. So I don't know what to do. So let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do. Yay or nay to the shirt if I should look at Aritzia to see what else they have. I don't know what to do, but this top is just so cute. Like I'm in love with the top. I literally moved my mirror like from that wall to here because I just don't like the lighting that this wall with the mirrors on it, it gives off. It's I just moved the mirror here to give you guys some better lighting to show my outfit. Anyways, you guys know what to do down below. Please get a brown sugar oat shake and espresso. A brown sugar and oat shake and espresso. Iced. Iced uh -huh. grande oat milk latte, please. And then can I just get a cup of water as well? Hello. Cup of water? Yes. And Thank you. you. Have Christmas meal. I do. I love it. I'm obsessed with Christmas, so. Thank you. John Strong. I'm sure. Yes, please. Take care, guys. Thank you, you so too. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so me and Brittany. Oh, by the way. This is my sister, Brittany. The nice one. The old one. <laughs> the nice one. Um, she doesn't live with us. She lives, that's why you guys never see her because she lives um, not at home. So today we are having a little shopping day. Joel's here too. And we're just going to the mall because I'm gonna tell my mom not to watch this vlog because I wanna like buy her gift in this vlog and show it to you guys. But basically my mom said that she wants stud earrings. It's already December 4th, so I'm like, the malls are just gonna keep getting busier and busier and I know I've been going to the mall so often lately but it's just because like I always think of something new that I want to get so today we're going for my mom's study earrings and I didn't want to do this alone because I feel like picking out jewelry like that is so hard like when you're in a real jewelry store you know you always question yourself too you're like, yeah is this something actually that they would like yeah like I don't think I can do the task of like buying her these earrings alone so she sent me like reference pictures of what she wanted I don't know why I was envisioning gold, but she wants silver. I was envisioning gold too. So they're just super basic, like stud mm -hmm. type earrings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like super basic, like stud earrings. So we'll see what we can get at white gold. 
a white gold. Mom's going for the more expensive stuff. I see her. Yeah, I see you, I see Mom. You, Mom. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. The mall is so busy, but we just scored this parking in the front. Sorry, I want to show you my nails. <laughs> so I need you guys' opinion because when I got my nails done last Christmas, I loved them and then I got them off but when they removed the nails it like completely destroyed my nails and that's probably because i just didn't do a good job at all like they literally like made them bleed and so i was like i'm never getting my nails done again like ever and it they shouldn't have made your nails bleed no it, they were like it was very bad the way that they did it like it, i left there and my nails were just were just horrible he was like right. hurting me and i just like i swore never to get them done but now i really want to get christmas nails because i haven't done anything with my nails for over like a year now and so let me know should i and now i know more like other good nail places to go to so comment down below if you guys think i should take a chance and get my nails done this christmas just because it's really fun to get like festive and Fun nails, Do you it. Know? I was like debating it too because I got them done for my birthday for the first time in a year, and my birthday's the end of October. So I was like, Do I get them again? And by the time I got them again, it was like end of November, and I was like, Perfect, I'll just do it for Christmas for the Christmas season. Yeah, because why not? I know it's like, Why not? But at the same time, I just don't want my nails to get ruined again. That was my struggle too, but because it, it took a year, not even kidding you, you should to take make you should, them like stronger. Again. You should take them off yourself, though. Yeah, we'll see. But please help me out because I can't decide. Christmas is coming up, so I would want to get them soon. So please um, let me know because sometimes I just it's just hard for me to make decisions like this, okay? What the? What is going on back here? I was just playing. <laughs> What's up? That? that thing can fly. And on that note, we're going to go shopping. Okay, before we go in, I'm just going to show you guys my OOTD. I have this shirt that I got a long time ago. It's from H&M. I just really like the green Christmas vibe a bit. The sweatpants that I got a while ago from H&M. And then just a Ritzia Super Puff. Very basic outfit today. Pairing it with this thrifted purse. And we're good to go. from the mall now and I'm so mad because I accidentally forgot my camera like this is my smaller g7x camera and I forgot like my normal usual camera in my sister's car because she drove and I put it in like the console and I just completely forgot to get it so I'm kind of like bummed out about that but I'm gonna I'm gonna get it somehow tomorrow because I need like the memory card in it to edit my vlog for the next day so we're gonna get it back soon but in the meantime, I'm just gonna be doing like filming on this camera. I'm literally trying to balance you guys in the Christmas tree right now because I'm gonna do a haul. No. Anyways, so first thing that I got is I secured the bag for my mom's gift. We got her that that she wanted. Um, I'm not gonna open them because they're like nice and packaged, but cha ching. So that was clearly a success. And the other thing that I got is this lip plumper. It's from Nordstrom Rack and it's LA Girl Moisturizes and Plumps Lips and it's also tinted. So I'm just gonna put this, I bought three. They were only like a few dollars each. So I'm gonna put this in each of our stockings for the girls. And that's literally all I got. I really held back on my self-control of buying stuff, you know? Every time I go to the mall, I always come up with something for myself, but I didn't today. But anyways, I'm gonna go get ready for bed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And yeah, just a little thing that I want to say is remember that everything in your life is happening for you and not to you like once you develop that mentality it makes things a lot like more positive like once you realize like something like bad happens to you don't ask like don't think that it's happening to you if you like question it like why is it happening for me then you can kind of learn more out of the experience out of the situation out of the mistake or whatever and it can like open your perspective to more positive to more positive thoughts and everything so yeah i just wanted to leave it on that note that 
everything happens for you not to you so just remember that next time you're in that type of situation because ever since i've adopted that mentality it's been more of like a, okay like let's say if you're going driving to work and you get a flat tire and you're like what the hell like blah 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 you get really mad about it and it's like just think about it shift your perspective and be like okay this happened for me therefore what if you kept driving and you got in a car accident so that flat tire prevented you from getting in that car accident like you never you literally never know so just if you always think about the positive side to everything then you will, you'll never be disappointed so yeah that's just what i wanted to get across today and yeah i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out also you guys keeping up with vlogmas like other people's vlogs have been so fun for me honestly i've been watching so many videos per day but it's been like so fun also this is like a trick that i have because there's so many videos that come out a day during vlogmas if you like go here i'll show you guys just click on my most recent video for an example so if you go here and if you see like this settings icon if you click that it'll say playback speed and you can watch the video faster you guys you can put it in two times speed 1.75 1.5 1.25 so that let's say this my video is here it's 25 minutes so you can watch this video in like less than 15 minutes in two times speed like i love to be completely honest i don't watch videos in regular speed anymore like anybody's videos i always automatically put them in like a faster pace just because I don't know i like it a lot better because it, i can watch like more videos and it doesn't take as much time but i can still catch up with like all my favorite youtubers and stuff so that's like a little tip because i know my vlogs even like i can rant and they can get long so if you want to put them in two times um speed and it'll fly by faster for you that's a little tip of mine